Mazda just shocked the entire car industry with a new $8,000 truck. It has incredible performance and unmatched reliability, while being functional and practical. It is surprisingly powerful, unimaginable for this price tag. Simply put, this thing is a beast and it will destroy the competition. Here is how. Performance This is the first thing that's likely to come to mind when you first hear about a truck with just $8,000. That is why compact trucks aim to deliver truck-like functionality in a smaller, more affordable and SUV-like package. But Mazda's new truck is set to dominate in terms of power and versatility. Whether we're talking about towing capacity or off-road prowess, this truck's got it covered. But let's face it, at this price point, it's not fair to compare it to compact trucks like the Ford Maverick. But the truth is, the compact truck market is crying out for something like this. And to fill the void, they came with a 2.5-liter turbocharged four-cylinder engine straight out of the CX-9 SUV, boasting a hefty 250 horsepower and 320 pound-feet of torque. Now, compare that to what the Maverick brings to the table, and you'll see Mazda's got the upper hand, and the Maverick is the current market leader. But this is just on the base model. There is a slightly dialed down, but still packing a punch. It's a 2-liter turbocharged 4-cylinder engine from the Mazda 3 Turbo, delivering 227 horsepower and 310 pound-feet of torque. And guess what? Even this one outshines the Maverick in the torque department. Mazda doesn't mess around when it comes to performance. They've got a reputation to uphold. That is why, when many companies are making new compact trucks by simply tweaking their SUV designs, Mazda takes a refreshingly different approach. For instance, the BT50 truck, primarily found in Australia, Asia, and Europe, boasts a body-on-frame construction, unlike the Maverick's unibody platform. We're not saying that the unibody platform is bad. Mazda has that platform because it offers lighter weight, greater fuel efficiency, and enhanced comfort, but it sacrifices durability, capability, and customization options. But Mazda isn't limited to one playbook. If Mazda decides to build the new truck based on their SUVs, they'll most likely use their seventh-generation small SUV platform. Engineered for a blend of performance, efficiency, and comfort, this platform incorporates Mazda's Skyactiv engine technology, promising superior fuel economy and power output. So if you're craving more power and ruggedness, Mazda's truck could be your go-to, leaving the Maverick for city slickers and Costco enthusiasts. But this means the Maverick will just lure in those seeking fuel efficiency. And let's just be real, Mazda is a small company compared to the giant Ford. But what that means is that to solve this problem, they have to think outside the box. Which is a good thing for us, you and me. And that's where they shine brightest. But don't take my word for it. Just look at the plans and watch carefully. The Blueprint You see, this is where what we've been talking about all clicks together. I'm talking about power, performance, efficiency, and the game plan. Mazda is aiming to revive the legendary rotary engines, but not in a way that we've known them for. This is a unique type of engine that uses a funky triangular rotor to do all the heavy lifting for the intake, compression, combustion, and exhaust strokes instead of the traditional piston setup. Back in the day, these babies were the darlings of aviation during World War I, and found their groove in sporty rides like the Mazda RX series. These were so useful and ahead of their time because they were compact enough to fit in your pocket, while still packing a serious punch in the power-to-weight department, boasting fewer moving parts, which makes it smoother than a Jazz Solo. But, and there's always a but, they're not without their quirks. We're talking poor fuel efficiency, emissions, and a thirst for oil like a camel in the desert and a tendency to run hotter than a summer's day in Death Valley. So why are they bringing it back? Well, to put it simply, Mazda's not one to shy away from a challenge. They've ingeniously harnessed the rotary engine to juice up the electric motors in their hybrid setups. Talk about having your cake and eating it too. You get the fuel-sipping efficiency of an electric motor, paired with the raw power and silky smooth vibes of a rotary engine. Picture this a punchy combo of a 2.5-liter four-cylinder engine and an electric motor, churning out a whopping 219 horsepower. 
Plus, it's estimated to hit around 40 miles per gallon combined. Now, that's some serious muscles with brains. What's even cooler is that this hybrid setup is armed with Skyactiv technology, kicking fuel efficiency up a notch. If they roll with this, it's a game changer. After all, fuel efficiency is the maverick secret sauce. Imagine Mazda stepping in with better or even similar efficiency. It'd be like waving a magic wand for truck lovers everywhere. Who wouldn't want more power, top-notch reliability, and a heap of capabilities, all while sipping fuel like a champ? If you've been keeping up, you know with the Maverick making waves in the compact truck scene, everyone's eyeing the urban market. But there's a serious lack of off-road prowess in the mix. Being the underdog, Mazda's got to flip the script. They've got to leverage Ford's missteps and bring something fresh to the table. And they're not only going to make a more off-road capable truck, they will also be focusing on the one thing this market segment has been missing. Reliability and functionality. This is how they'll be winning. But this is deeper than that. Customization is just the tip of the iceberg. Let me ask you this. How can a company be able to release such an affordable truck? Well, let me explain. All the new cheap models like the Maverick, Santa Cruz, and even the Land Cruiser have one standout trend, and that is focusing on one feature and sidelining the rest. A strategy that might seem counterproductive, but it is working, and Mazda has got something figured out. Since 1961, they've been making amazing trucks, and they're not hitting the brakes anytime soon. In the 2020 JD Power Vehicle Dependability Study, Mazda proudly clinched the fourth spot among all automakers. This accolade underscores the trustworthiness ingrained in their vehicles. Renowned for their ruggedness and reliability, Mazda's trucks have stood the test of time, enduring the harshest conditions and constant use over the years. And when it comes to their new compact truck, there's every reason to expect some exceptional performance. In fact, it's this stellar reputation that's brought Mazda onto the radar of American consumers. Collaborations with industry giants like Toyota, Isuzu, and Ford have cemented Mazda's reputation for reliability and excellence in truck manufacturing. On top of that, this small beast is set to come with a robust towing capacity of up to 7,700 pounds. Keep in mind that these figures may differ based on the specific model and configuration, and Mazda is bringing a lot of options because one size fits all will not be working in this segment, and they know it. So how will it stack up against the competition? Well, at this segment, it all comes down to strategy. They will be winning because of that. Just look at the Ford Maverick and the way Toyota released the new Land Cruiser. It's all about finding that perfect balance between affordability and style. Let's be real, at the end of the day, these manufacturers are here to make a profit, and they won't do anything to mess that up. They're cutting prices while still raking in cash. Why? because they focus on nailing one standout feature, making it the best in the business in that regard while stealing the show. The Maverick shines with its no-frills efficiency and reliability. Meanwhile, the Land Cruiser rocks that vintage vibe and rugged, adventure-ready performance. Now, Mazda's stepping up to the plate with an $8,000 truck aiming to join the ranks. But they're not cutting corners because they don't need to. It has unmatched performance and an amazing efficiency that will rival the Maverick. And of course, the hybrid option will be priced at a bit higher price point, but it is still cheaper than the Maverick, the truck that was once loved for the same quality. And let's not forget off-road capability. This thing is just a beast. It tows heavy weight and goes anywhere you want it to. Now, don't get me wrong. I'm not saying that this will be perfect in everything. No, this is not the case. But Mazda focused on the features that matter the most. They outperformed most trucks in this segment with one. Be honest, what else do you want from a compact truck? I really want to know. Let me know in the comments. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you on the next one.